Here I want to provide to you a quick and easy way to generate surfaces to play around with. Now a lot of times people have a hard time figuring out, hey, where do I start? How do I generate stuff? Where do I go from? How do I go from? That type of thing. One of the things that I learned a long time ago is sometimes it's easier to sculpt just a very prismatic shape and then based off of that very prismatic shape you can go ahead and create your surfaces and the tool sets I like to use are ready for this? Sketcher. I'm gonna go into the Sketcher and I'm just gonna simply draw a basic profile nothing fancy just a simple little thing once I have my profile drawn out I'm gonna get out I'm going to make a pad and to make things even more interesting I'm going to go ahead and add a draft. I'm going to draft these faces. My neutral element is this base plane down here. I'll just say 10 degrees and eh, a little bit much. Let me back that off a little bit. Let me go 5 degrees. Now that I have that drafted what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into freestyle once I'm in freestyle, I'm going to do the simplest thing I could possibly think of, and that's go into control points. I'm going to select normals, and I'm going to pick this top face. And as you can see, I get this little message. The element surface one has been created because the original element is not a NURBS and cannot be modified. But it creates this face, and as you can see, it's nicely parameterized because it's planar. I'm just going to simply increase this and that and I'm going to m modify this surface just a little bit. So the way I'm going to modify it is, is I'm just going to pick all the control points. I'm going to increase the amount of control points that I have actually. Let me do that. And I'm going to pick this one point and I'm going to, well before I do that, let me change the type of movement. I'm going to do a concave law and I'm going to move this and let me change my attenuation so it's full. Let me hide that solid for a moment. And there you have a surface, quick and easy like, that's got some contour to it. I can go back in there, go into my control points. Maybe I just want to uh, manipulate this corner a little bit, just that one point, give it a little bit of shape. Do the same thing back here, select OK bring back this part and next thing I'm going to do is basically the same thing I'm just going to repeat what I've just done pick all my control points I'm going to move this in I'll move this in a little bit this corner in a little bit select OK so all I'm doing is I'm using that solid as a base reference element. That's it. And by doing so, let me go ahead and manipulate this first and then add. Right? There's different ways you can do this. It's, it's not just the way I happen to do it. Uh, pick this row. Maybe I want to move this row out. Whoops. There we go. Now that I have my surfaces moved, I'll just go ahead and hide this block again. And as you can see, I have some overbuilt slabs, which now allows me to go in there and do what I need to do. So you can go through, create any shape, part design, really quick and easy. And what that allows you to do is just simply go in here, as you can see, pick a face, it creates the surface. That little message is just telling you, hey, I can't manipulate the face, but I'm going to extract a face, I'm going to give you a surface, and I'm going to allow you to manipulate that surface. So there's no history, there's none of that, but it's a quick and easy way to get your surfaces in there to start manipulating and playing with. So some of the videos that I made about drawing a corner and ball corner, now you have your uh, corner in there. So I would next put in some fillets. So I, I might go into like a style fillet, pick those, put in whatever radius it is I need. Just like that. I don't want to trim everything up, so I'll just turn the trims off 
Uh, just be careful about what you're inputting. Remember the system does what you tell it to do, not what you want it to do. Do the same thing with this and this. Oops, helps to point in the right direction. And this, and this, reverse. So there are my fillets. Let me go ahead and change the color of these. Quick and easy. So now I can go in and generate my corner in this area. And again, you can go reference my videos. There's a methods in which you can intersect these points and create the, the, the corner nice and quick and easy. And the nice thing about this is these are parametric. So if I come in and mo make a modification, say to that surface, uh, let's go move a point. Let's turn off the law function. Actually just, there we go. And now you can see I have, this is, this is where the, the parameters, whoops, I clicked on that. Let me free that up a bit. This is where the parameters really matter for this. As you can see, everything just updates nice and clean and smooth. And for anybody that wants to just experiment, play around, and, and see what the system can do, again, it's just a quick, simple, easy, dirty way of doing that. And even in the real world, when you're making a Class A surface, some people get stuck. Hey, how do I, how do I start? How do I begin? Well, you've seen some of my videos where I have the point cloud and I start laying in surfaces directly on the point cloud. Sometimes, and it doesn't happen very often, I may end up with a tiny little uh, surface that I have to work on. Sometimes a button or a dial or a wheel, and I may just simply start out with some uh, basic shapes, right? A lot of times buttons are going to be totally round or uh, whatever that may be, and then I can do a solid, create that based off of the solid, is it's real easy to make that solid and then go in there and make any modifications maybe to the top face or top surface that need to be made uh, with this type of a tool and then if you're really careful you don't have to um, uh, get rid of all the solid data you may just be able to sew that surface in that you made a modification to into the solid and then apply your blends or your fillets to that final bit so this is just one useful tip, and you'll see me do this uh, here and there, different ways to create your initial surfaces to start manipulating. Again, it's just one way. There's other ways that I use, and um, I'll, I'll get into some of those other ways here shortly. Hope this helps.